All right, we are on our final chapter of our final Ready Freddy book for this year. We have read so, so many books in this series uh, from Ready Freddy, The Scaredy Cat, and Don't Sit on My Lunch, and Yikes Bikes, and Tooth Trouble, and Homework Hassles. So many different books that we've read, and we have gotten to know Freddy really, really well. So we are on our last chapter of Save the Earth. If you have not watched the other chapters, you can just scroll down on our website and check them out so that you get to hear the whole book. We are on chapter eight. It's Go Green. We're finally at the point where we're going to see if Freddie makes it on the green team. So let's read and find out. The next day, we were all putting our backpacks away in our cubbies when Chloe started running around the room screaming, Ah! Chloe said, Mrs. Wushy, what's wrong? There's a, there's a, there's a worm in my cubby. Max started laughing hysterically. <laughs> Chloe, calm down, said Mrs. Wushy. It's not going to do anything to you. And Chloe covered her eyes. I can't look at it. J -j Just get it out. Get, get it out, she screamed. Mrs. Wishy slowly pulled the worm out of Chloe's cubby and held it in her hand. It's out now, Chloe. You can open your eyes. Throw it outside. Throw it outside, said Chloe. Actually, this worm is going to go in the compost bin we make today. It's called a red wiggler. I got some last night. This little guy must have escaped from the jar I was keeping them in. Can we make the compost bin right now, asked Jessie. Sure, said Mrs. Wushy. If you brought newspapers in today, please bring them over to the rug. We all got out the newspaper we had brought. Mrs. Wushy carried a big plastic bin to the rug. This is going to be our compost bin. I poked some holes in the lid. Does anybody know why? So that the worms have air to breathe, said Robbie. That's right, said Mrs. Wushy. Now we have to line the bottom with damp paper shreds. But what do we do with the newspaper, I asked. That's going to be the worm bedding, said Mrs. Wushy. You all need to rip the paper into one inch wide strips. We all started ripping. This is fun, said Jessie. Now we make it a little bit damp by spraying some water on it and then spread it out on the bottom of the bin. What's next, asked Max. We add some dead leaves, some grass clippings, and some food scraps like these banana peels, orange rinds, and crushed eggshells. But that's all garbage, said Chloe. Why are we putting stinky garbage in the bin? Because that's what the worms like to eat, said Mrs. Wishy. Chloe held her nose. P-U, she said. Finally, said Mrs. Wishy, we add the worms. They like to be buried under the paper and food scraps, so we'll stick them under there. Now what, I said. Now the worms break down the rotting plants and food into dark, rich soil that's good for planting. That's amazing, said Jessie. Now I think it's time to see who finished the Earth Day Challenge, said Mrs. Wishy. If you completed the list, then please go get it and bring it back to the rug. The whole class jumped up to get their papers. Now let's see, said Mrs. Wishy, who finished the challenge? Everybody's hand shut up. I did, I did, everyone shot it out. <clears throat> Really, asked Mrs. Wishy. Everyone completed everything on the list. Congratulations. That's fantastic. You are all amazing. What do we win, asked Chloe. A pony? A pony, said Max. You are crazy. I am not crazy. Besides, I wasn't talking to you, said Chloe. I was talking to Mrs. Wishy. No, Chloe, said Mrs. Wishy. In this challenge, you don't win anything. The earth does. What do you mean? The earth will be a better place because of you, said Mrs. Wishy. Oh, said Chloe, pouting. I thought I won a prize. Well, everyone does get a pin that says the green team. Mrs. Wishy handed out the pins. Cool, I said. Can we put them on now, asked Jessie. Of course you can, said Mrs. Wishy. You should wear it proudly. I pinned mine to my shirt and smiled. Remember, said Mrs. Wishy, we should take care of the earth every day, not just on Earth Day. Now you all know lots of ways to protect our planet, and you can share them with friends and family. They are all so simple, said Jessie. Yeah, I said. I thought the challenge was going to be really hard, but it was actually pretty easy. Like I said before, said Mrs. Wishy, even little things add up to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. 
And as always, we have our very last page. Dear reader, we are lucky to live on such a beautiful planet and we need to do everything we can to protect it. Did you know that there are many things kids just like you can do to make the world a better place? If you love the earth and all the things that live on it, then find a way to help. A great place to start is Scholastic's Act Green website. This website lists over 100 things kids can do to be more green and help the environment. Just like Freddie, you and your class can become members of the green team. So get involved and make your voice heard. Participate in a neighborhood cleanup, make a compost bin for your home or classroom, or start a green team club at your school. One person can make a difference. Hope you have as much fun reading Save the Earth as I had writing it. Hmm, that was a good one. <laughs> so the last thing in the back of the book that it says is, join the green team. Can you complete the Earth Day challenge? Recycle cans, plastic, paper, and glass, number one. Number two, be a powerful, <laughs> be a power saver. Turn off the lights, computers, and television when you leave the room. Number three, turn off the water when brushing your teeth. Number four, use a reusable water bottle. Number five, pick up litter on your playground or in your neighborhood. Number six, walk or ride your bike to school as much as possible. Number seven, use cloth bags instead of plastic at the grocery store. Number eight, use two sides of a piece of paper before recycling it. Number nine, use a cloth dish towel to dry your hands instead of a paper towel. And number 10, take a shower instead of a bath. Go green team. <clears throat> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed yet another Ready Freddy book. It is our last one. Um, I really enjoyed reading them to you. I know that you enjoy getting to know the characters and the patterns and being able to predict what was going to happen from one book to another because of what you learned. And you guys are definitely Ready Freddy experts. All right, till next time.